Hi guys, glad to have you here for this review. This is going to be on the IT Cosmetics Your Skin But Better CC Plus Color Correcting Full Coverage Cream Plus Anti-Aging Hydrating Serum SPF 50 Plus. <laughs> and it has a super long name, but I just call it the IT Cosmetics CC Cream. And I had mentioned this and given, I guess, a mini review on this as part of an IT Cosmetics One Brand tutorial over on my other channel quite a while back. And then more recently, I kind of rediscovered this product Product and mentioned it in my Best in Beauty video. Um, I think this was what I demoed as well in my quick makeup routine. And as a result of my more recent mentions of this product, um, a lot of people were saying, could you do an express review just expanding on it? And so that's what I thought I'd do today. Really, really been enjoying this as a quick kind of no fuss foundation type product for me. I have this in the shade medium. The packaging is kind of different. It's a squeezy tube. It is 1.08 fluid ounces, and then it has a pump at the end. And I really do like the pump because I'm able to, I think, get a good grasp of how much I'm using each time and kind of regulate myself. And what I've sort of settled into is that I will use one full pump of this every time. And spending the past week traveling for Christmas, um, this has been the thing, my go-to thing. I do feel like I can count on this to give me um, a very natural skin-like appearance. It's not shimmery, but it does give me a little bit of glow. But at the same time, I think what's fascinating about this product is the really great staying power over the course of a whole day. I mean, there's nothing like a family, you know, Christmas function to make you kind of ignore your makeup all day and just have fun and do whatever you're doing. But there are pictures being taken a lot and you glance at yourself in the mirror every now and then. And I was just so impressed with the way this held up at the very tail end of a day. I want to take you back to application and show you the way I put this on. Again, one full pump, spread it out all over my skin. You can blend this out out very easily with fingers. I also do love using my Real Techniques buffing brush. It's a very comparable consistency to a lot of my liquidy foundations, but it's got a little extra hydration in there. Probably the best coverage of any CC or BB type product. Once I've got it all on there, I think you can see it's covering a lot of flaws. You can build it up a little bit as well. Um, I'm not saying this is going to eliminate the need for concealer. I still will use a concealer with this product on the under eye area. Really as far as skin tone evening out, and if you just wanted one quick step, this really does do a good job with that. Now I want to mention moisturization with this because I feel like my skin is a bit on the dry side now, so I do like to use a light moisturizer underneath this. Um, a product I've been going through trying to use up is this Eucerin um, Daily Protection SPF 30 Moisturizing Lotion. Good for sensitive skin too, and um, I just put a light layer of that on underneath this, but I think if you were more on the oily side, this might be just fine alone. I have I've been comparing it a little bit to the Estee Lauder Double Wear All Day Glow BB, and that has some decent coverage to it as well. I do really like that product, but it comes off much more glowy on the skin than this does. And you can control the finish to an extent, depending on if you want to top it with a powder or do different things. But this, as a standalone product, I feel does give a hydrated look to the skin. It's not glowy with shimmer, but it just, I don't know, it gives a real freshness, a really natural skin-like supple look without looking too greasy. And I do like to set this, by the way. The products I find myself using alongside this and that I used alongside it a lot when I was traveling were this um, Sonia Kashuk Hidden Agenda Concealer Palette. That's with the three concealers and then the little setting powder, which I hit pan on. That's great. And then set the whole thing with the It Cosmetics Celebration Illumination Foundation. And just a light amount of this. I'm talking a light dusting, primarily just on the T-zone, I think maintains the freshness of this because this isn't a super matte powder, but um, it does help set things and I think that might contribute to good staying power throughout the day. So I guess the point I want to get across with this product is I'm really loving it. I do feel like my skin as a whole, even without makeup on, I mean I've been wearing this a lot lately and I do feel like my skin has been looking better. I've also been getting a slight bit more sleep. My child has been allowing that to happen, so that's great. That may be playing into it too. This has the best coverage of any kind of CC combo type product. Really love the appearance on the skin, the way it wears throughout the day. This is the Estee Lauder that I had mentioned. Um, this has pretty good staying power, but will tend to make me look quite a bit more shiny in my T-zone. Like I said, a much more glowy product, if that's what you're after, is more of a real luminosity on the skin. Um, this might be something to try. So I hope this review gave you a little more to go on if you were thinking about picking this up. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.